Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about MicroPython boards. Um, since I started sharing content on MicroPython, I had a number of people asking me what's the best board for their needs. So what I would like to do is to review and compare uh, the, the two boards that I have a little bit of experience with um, so that you at least have you know, two, two comparison points. Uh, that can help you decide uh, which type of MicroPython board is best for your needs. Uh, on the one side, you have this board. This is an ESP8266 development board. Uh, you may you may see this uh, also named as ESP8266 Node MCU, uh, which is the the more uh, official name. And this is the board that I've used on my MicroPython tutorial. Very nice board. I, I love this, uh, this little thing. And then uh, a couple days ago, I shared a video showing a little game that I wrote on this board. This is made by Adafruit. And let's see if I can get it in focus. There you go. And it's called the Circuit Playground Express. So, very different, as you can see, uh, and they have uh, also very different purposes. So I see uh, maybe three distinguishing features between these two that can help you decide uh, which one is right for you. Um, let's start with the first price. Uh, in terms of price, the ESP8266 board costs uh, about four US dollars. So it, this is very inexpensive. Uh, actually have a, a bunch of them. Uh, I have uh, a couple currently using in my house to control my heating, uh, if you can believe that. Uh, a few more, you know, because th these are so inexpensive that it's great to have uh, one or two at hand uh, in case an idea comes up and uh, I, I can code it right away. Uh, this is 25 US dollars, so more expensive. Uh, and a completely different purpose. So we talked about price, let's talk about features. And there are two uh, distinguishing differences between these two. Um, the first is uh, Wi-Fi. This can do Wi-Fi. Uh, the ESP8266 chip is uh, Wi-Fi enabled. So it comes with Wi-Fi support out of the box. Uh, so this enables this board to work on a number of Internet of Things uh, features. Uh, you can send requests to the cloud. You can, uh, you, you can put a, a little web server in, inside this device and then connect from your computer. Uh, so uh, I show a, a number of options that you can do with uh, Wi-Fi on my MicroPython tutorial, by the way. So uh, if, if you want to learn how to do those things, my tutorial uh, will tell you. Uh, on the other side, this guy does not support Wi-Fi. So this is more of a, a closed device. In fact, the only way that it has to go out to the outside world is through infrared. So basically the same thing that you have in, on your uh, TV remote. So this has a, uh, a emitter and a receiver for infrared. So you can have two of these. Uh, sending uh, and receiving so so they can communicate but uh, th there's nothing like uh, you know no option to go out to the internet so first big difference and then uh, the other difference uh, you can probably guess which of the two comes more equipped with uh, with devices embedded devices uh, in the case of the ESP8266 uh, really what you get is you get the chip which is that silver uh, chip that you see there, uh, plus uh, you know a, a board that has uh, all the uh, connections necessary to have a micro USB, and that is pretty much it. Basically, you, you have to program it, and then if you uh, if you want to connect uh, peripherals, then then they need to connect it, and you can see that uh, this is. Uh, basically exposes a number of pins that then you can use to connect devices. And 
All of this, uh, once again, you can learn in my tutorial. Now, this one does not have pins, uh, doesn't have uh, a lot of options to uh, to connect external peripherals, uh, though you can see these uh, these holes that has all around it, and you could you could use alligator clamps to uh, to connect uh, other things. But but the whole point of this device is really not to connect things, but to use the uh, the peripherals that come in the board. And the the list is quite extensive, and that actually justifies. The, the $25 price versus the four or so that uh, that the other one costs. Uh, so let's see if I remember. Uh, you, you can clearly see here that there are 10 uh, color LEDs. So these are 10 LEDs that, be, that can be programmed independently and each can have a different color. Uh, there's a microphone, there's a speaker, uh, a couple of buttons, uh, there are uh, tactile, uh, pads that you, uh, basically um, that you can touch and, and then the ball recognizes your touch. This is actually what I used on my little game. Uh, if, if you can find the video on YouTube, if you're interested. Uh, uh, what else? I, I mentioned the, the infrared uh, receiver and emitter. Uh, there's a thermometer, uh, so you, you can get temperature readings. Uh, and uh, mm, uh, there's the, the, the micro USB, which I have plugged so that you can see the lights. Uh, this one has also a battery connector, which, uh, which is important because if, if you want to connect a battery on this one, uh, basically th there's, there's no support. So you need, uh, you need to uh, build a, uh, a voltage regulator, which this does not have, uh, to make sure that uh, the device receives a stable uh, power source. Batteries are not uh, stable unless you uh, you connect them to a regulator. This one has all of that in it, so you can plug a, uh, a battery and, and then you, you can run it independently very easily. For this one, uh, the only easy way I found to run on a battery is to connect a, um, uh, a, a USB power bank uh, on the micro USB port. That's the only easy way uh, to run it on a battery. So um, basically, there you go. Uh, one more difference. Uh, this one runs uh, MicroPython, standard MicroPython. Uh, this one comes from Adafruit, and Adafruit maintains a port of MicroPython called Circuit, uh, uh, circuit Python. And uh, the Circuit Python release actually it's basically designed to run on these these boards, actually this and any other uh, boards made by Adafruit. So uh, it, it's a very nicely integrated experience. Uh, for example, when you connect this to USB, uh, you get a, uh, a disk drive on your computer. Of course, you, you need to connect the, the other end of the cable to your computer, not not to, a, uh, to not to the wall. Uh, so, so then uh, you get that drive, and then in that drive there is a code.py file. Uh, anytime you open that file and edit it, as soon as you save it, the board detects the change and restarts and runs your new code. So it's a very uh, streamlined experience if you're a beginner, if you don't want to learn how to, uh, how to program the device. Uh, basically, you do it just by writing uh, the file with your code uh, to the device. This one has a more primitive experience. It's still easy, and I show how to use it on my tutorial, uh, but not as easy as this guy. So uh, basically, there you go. Uh, those are the differences. Uh, if you want to do uh, Internet of Things applications, this is best. If you want to do uh, little games, uh, maybe learn uh, Python uh, in a fun way, then this is actually a great device to use for that. So hope this helps. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.